And also, I'm saying hi to everybody who is watching on YouTube. Hi, everyone. Can you can you unmute yourself uh, right now, please? I just want to see the energy. I just want to hear the energy for tonight. Hi, everyone. Hello, Kak. Hello. Hello. Hi, hi, hi. Hello. Hello. Hi, Kakak. What's your name, Kakak? Hello. Hi, I'm Rama, and I'm going to be the master of ceremony. Okay, Kakak Rama. Oh my God, I'm on mute. Okay, so uh, guys, I'm Rama, and I'm going to be the MC for tonight's class. Um, I am seeing a lot of um, new faces here. Uh, hi, everyone. But unfortunately, I cannot see uh, everybody clearly because I'm online from my phone. But I think that's okay. So uh, before we are going to um, continue with our event, I would like to again reintroduce myself. My name is Rama, and it's very good to see you all uh, in our class tonight. Uh, it's our regular uh, Thursday session in Bridge Zone. And I just wanna know quickly just how is everybody doing in the middle of the week? tonight because it's Thursday, right? We are in the middle of the week. How about Ka Ulfa? Hi, Ka Ulfa. How are you doing so far? Hi. <laughs> I'm good, Ka Rama. You're good? What What has you? How, what have you been uh, working on? What keeps you busy this week? <laughs> I'm prepared for the new class in our school. Oh. Your teacher? teacher? Yes, of course. Uh, before right. our school sent a participant for Brit Zone speech, uh, and my student get a third. Oh wow! Winner. So wait, wait, I have to. Third I have to winner. ask. Do you coach your students to speech competitions? Yes, of course. I have to thank you because I used to a speech boy at school. <laughs> Good job, Lufa. I used to, to go into many competition, but I didn't have anybody not to so. coach me. So no, you're doing so. a very good deed for not the so. for the people there. Thank you so much. <laughs> Shout out not to so. all the teachers because it's the first not week so. I need to be thanking for you all. Not so. Hello, Hello everyone. <laughs> How about uh, Odi? Hi, Odi. Hello, hello, Bridgen. Hi, Kaori. Hello. How have you? What? Uh, how? How are you doing uh, today? Because this is the first. Because this is the middle of the week. How? How have you been doing? Uh, okay. Thank you for asking. I'm pretty good. And um, yeah, as usual, as a student, I still have a lot of assignments right now. But since I need to meet new friends and uh, practice my English speaking skills. So uh, I just hold my assignments and just come to this event for having new friends here. Thank you for having me. Yay, we are so glad to have you here, Kaudi. I hope that you are having a good time as also for everyone. Yeah, I really would like everybody to remember that the aim for Beat Zone is for everybody to um, practice their English skills. So uh, please speak as much as you can, okay? And um, as usual, I'm going to uh, present you a very few announcement. Please, uh, can anybody help me, please, to show the announcement slides? Okay, thank you, Kak Noi. Kak Noi is uh, one of the team for Thursday. Thank you so much for helping me. Again, welcome to Breed Zone. We are the largest English free English community in the world. No, just kidding. In Jakarta, we are the biggest in Jakarta so far. And uh, we are, as you know, we are free. We are an open platform. Um, so everybody uh, can come to our class and join our, our class without um, having to pay for anything. The next slide, please. Status or the vertical location. So uh, in Brit Zone, we have a few classes that we conduct. The first one is Brit Zone Speaking Academy. 
uh, which we held uh, usually on Tuesday at 7 p.m. We are going online and offline, where it focuses on en enhancing speaking skills through wide range topic. Next slide. And then we also have the Bridgestone Betterment series, uh, where it uh, helps every Thursday uh, or our class tonight, uh, where it touches the skills in English, uh, including listening, reading, writing, and also speaking. Next, please. And also on Saturday, we have the Bridgestone Fun Day class, uh, where it brings a variety of fun topics to discuss, uh, and it got very random and very fun. And we also have uh, our fresh from the oven. It's the Bit Zone Outdoor class. Uh, it's held once a month on Saturday, uh, and you can learn English with activities outside the classroom. Okay. So uh, if you guys are new to Bit Zone, uh, please do uh, follow us on our social media. We are on Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, um, and also on Clubhouse, and we have. We also have a podcast on Spotify and we are also have our own website. And uh, because our community is based on volunteerism, we have to find a way to make money, right? To run all the classes. So we have our official merchandise. We have uh, cool t-shirts, tote bags, stickers, and also notebooks. And if you are interested to get our merchandise, you can uh, kindly contact us on Instagram. And we are very proud to be supported by the Perpustakaan Dikbud. Uh, it's actually where our uh, Saturday class is being held. It got um, many, many um, resources on the book collection, audio, and also the video collections. And uh, don't forget that after the class uh, or in the middle of the class, we have a tradition of uh, taking picture together. So please make sure that you can, um, how is it? Open your camera and give your best smile. And also we will send the feedback link in the WhatsApp group. Okay, that's all. So I think uh, everybody's ready uh, to, to meet our conductor, which is very special to me because she and I share a very, a very, very similar job. We are in the same uh, field. And so our conductor tonight uh, and I are both journalists and it's a very, and she is very special because I just told her uh, in a meeting uh, like earlier this week that um, I I, ha I think I have heard her name, like, where is it? But where is it, right? And I just remember that I I actually got in my in my company uh, on November, on October 20, 20, uh, 2022, last year. And then uh, on November, I vividly remember that when I was in the training, I saw this uh, very huge screen in my office, and I saw this lady uh, doing a news report all the way from Malaysia about the presidential election. And she was doing it from uh, through her phone, like so no camera or professional big stuff, anything. So it's just her phone. And I was wondering like, hey, I might do that. You know, I, I, I'm gonna be doing uh, that in a couple of months, you know, after all the trainings. And I, I, I don't know, I think the universe conspires and everything, and that lady is the conductor of tonight's class. Please welcome Kak Nadia Mohsin. Hi, Kak Nadia. Hello. Hi. Well, thank you for such a good and fine, kind word on yeah, me, yeah. so I don't have to introduce myself. <laughs> you don't have to introduce yourself. All prisoners know who you are. <laughs> so Kanadia Mohsin is a journalist um, and she has worked in um, Malaysia before, uh, as I mentioned, and we are going to get to know about her career. And uh, as for tonight's uh, theme is the art of adaptive living. We are going to hear a lot from her also. So please Kanadia, take it away. Yes, thank you so much Rama. Okay, hi. Uh, let me introduce myself. Just a brief uh, on myself. I don't want to bore you guys with my life story, but 
very short. Hi, I'm Nadia Mungsin. I'm a Malaysian freelance journalist now based in Jakarta. Um, I basically I moved to Jakarta on November last year, just a day after Anwar Ibrahim just sworn in as Prime Minister, the 10th Prime Minister of Malaysia. That was my, my last assignment for uh, Metro TV. That was my last. And then immediately after that, a day after that, I just poof, take off and move here. And I've been in uh, Jakarta for seven to eight months now. And all I can say that uh, I'm adapting well, adapting well, um, you know, meeting new people, um, you know, making new friends and new circle, new lifestyle. And yeah, try to adapt to, you know, day to day basis uh, sort of thing. And both my daughter and I are enjoying uh, our, you know, eight months period in Jakarta, there's up and down, and there's a lot of adaptation to, to be made and have been made. And yeah, I've been in the uh, journalism, uh, you know, in the media industry since 2008. Um, you know, just two years in a online media. Uh, at that time was uh, the opposition-owned media. Before I moved to... Um, before I joined Media Prima Berhad, is a uh, one of the biggest media organization group in Malaysia. Uh, there's four channel under the the wing of the company: uh, TV Tiga, NTV Seven, Eight TV for Mandarin News, and TV Sembilan. And um, yeah, after quite some time, I mean, like. 10 years working as a permanent and full-time journalist, I decided to resign on January 2020. Thank you. Go. Good, Nadia. Just in time for COVID, you resigned. <laughs> 2020 without any plan whatsoever. I just feel like um, my time, you know, to serve the company, okay, then. And then I resigned without any plan. Boom, COVID. On March, the government announced that they will impose a lockdown, basically jobless, unemployed, no plan. And yes, I believe um, a lot, I mean, I mean, many of us um, has somehow be forced to be adaptive, you know, to practice adaptive living during that COVID time. Come on, who doesn't, right? Who doesn't? Some of us lose their job. Some of us, you know, just uh, got sick and, you know, cannot be the, the provider for the family anymore, etc., etc. We've been locked down like forever, stuck and don't know what to do. Few months after that, the Metro TV and uh, Metro TV offered me the position as a uh, news correspondent in, in, in Malaysia. So, <laughs> thank you. And then, um, at the same time, um, I've been, you know, doing uh, home bakery and, you know, stuff like that. Anything just to, you know, put food on the table during that two years of time. So, speaking of the hardship and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So, now, uh, should I continue or any, any one of you want to, to interrupt? Yeah, sure. You, you, you may anything? continue. Oh, Okay. Okay, now the art of adaptive living. I, I believe all of us, you know, all of us have this ability and have this set of skills to adapt to the situation. Since we were very young, such a young age, for example, when we were kids, we adapt to the ideas of going to school. I have to go wake up early in the morning, like, duh not playing games, not watching TV on the school week, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But along the way, the challenges, you know, we face a bigger challenge and more complex life with problems here and there, financial love and, you know, stuff like that. And, and along the way, I would say that the 25 years old Nadia and the approaching 40 Nadia will definitely handle things differently. And, and, and the way we see uh, hardship, the way we see challenge different, you know, the way we adapt to things different. Maybe the younger version of me will, will see challenges as uh, like with resentful, with anger and, 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 and you know, that a lot of protests on whatever things that happen in my life and complaining and, you know, all, all those teenager stuff. And then as we grow older, 
I would say we upskill, you know, we, we enhance our skill in adapting to life. And, and, and my career as a journalist do, do help me a lot in, in adjusting life, in uh, facing challenges. And okay, what is actually is adaptive living? It can be anything according to your definition of adaptive living. As for me, adaptive living is being resilient, you know, like macam tahan banting ah, macam tu kan. It's like, uh, how do we adapt? How do we be resilient, be lenient, be, you know, accept the situation, the hardship? How, 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 how are we handling it? Like, oh my God, I just, um, I just lost, uh, I just lose my job. I just get fired. Okay, what should I do next? Okay, things like that. And, and, and how to be, uh, you know, how we get up from the situation that is out of our norm, out of our comfort zone. I said, me, to be honest, I was, an, I, I was the culinary arts student, actually. I was culinary arts student, graduated, worked in a hotel industry for one year. And then again, I decided, no, this is not my path. Resign. I resigned without no plan What's Ever resigned and then comes this thing after a few months i do take you know i do accept orders for wedding cakes and stuff like that but after a few months seeing me doing nothing i think my parents get sick and tired of it and yep my my father like forcing me like why don't you do uh why don't you try reporting since that you love to write you have the requirement um i've been excel in you know certain subjects that uh, requires a journalist, you know, at least the least that, that, that I can is like score in that, in that particular subject is still related to the, to the media industry. So yeah, why not? I try. At first, I don't like it. You know, the nature of the job, yikes. Uh, I have to learn to write. It's not like, it's not like, how do I put this? It's not like once upon a time, the script is not like that. Like once upon a time, this guy and this guy being if caught in a fight. No, it's not like that. You have to find the angle. That, that way, from the kitchen, from the kitchen that I work in as a one part of the kitchen crew, the pastry kitchen, I have to adapt to the life of a journalist. I have to read a lot, a lot. And then because I started from basic, from scratch, I have to learn to take, to operate video as well. So I have to learn that from the seniors. With that seniors, do you know how seniors act, right? Like if you don't know, then how do they act? You don't know and you want to do this job? So I have to adapt to the culture, like kaka, abang, I'm sorry, I'm a newbie in this industry, stuff like that. So I have to adapt because being in the kitchen, uh, I was like at the back of the, everything. I never picture myself to be on a TV, never. To talk, public speaking, yikes, no, it's not me. And then after I joined the thing and I see how things work, I started to grow patient. And then I try to adapt with the situation. It's hard. And being a journalist, day, our day-to-day -day life, Rama, Rama must know about this because day-to-day -day life is based on assignment. Today, we might have this um, assignment uh, that we have to cover death, disasters, the mood, sad, you know, the thing that you have to deliver to the audience, sad, the script, the choice of word. And then tomorrow, you have to cover some other thing, maybe some good news that announced by the government. But change the mood, change everything, change, change, change the mood, change the script, everything. Even when you do life crossover, it's like that too. If sad story, you have to, with all your emotion, you feel that. And, and, and when you do uh, a, a, a fun, a, a, a good, feel good story, put a smile on your face, right? So you adapt to the situation. But... From my experience, like the, the, the daily adaptive skills, the daily adaptive skill from day to day is only, I only apply on the assignment. I do not apply in the biggest pictures of my life during that 10 years time, me, serve, uh, me serving for Media Prima Berhad, the, the, the company that I was with for 10 years. 
So meaning that I have, uh, I can see a comfortable life. I have fixed income. I don't have to think about anything. Right until COVID happened and I resigned, I have to go back to from scratch, join Metro as a uh, news correspondent, which means I have to do everything on my own, one man show. I'll show you some pictures. Um, Rama must know about this too, because uh, when we're in a news team, normally we will go in a group especially when we, especially we, when we want to do live crossover. Am I right, Rama? Like the whole group, <laughs> especially if, if, if it's a big assignment, right? Yes. So we have everyone with us. But being a freelance journalist, video journalist, you're on your own. You operate the camera, you set up for the Zoom or whatever to do the live crossover. And at the same time, uh, you have to think about the script, the language, and stuff like that. And for me, uh, for for 12 to 15 years, I've been a journalist in Bahasa, Malaysia. Uh, it's kind of, uh, it's really hard for me to, to, to change the slang. And uh, Bahasa, Malaysia, and Indonesia, it might sound, it might be similar, but it's different. Sometimes few words can change the meaning. I still remember the first time I was live with Metro TV regarding uh, Najib Tun Razak, um, one MDB case. So the producer told me, uh, this is the news anchor. And I was like, oh my God, I'm so nervous because I know the news anchor will ask me a lot. She will grill me with questions, bombard me with questions. So I prepared, I prepared everything. But because of the language barrier, which I did not master at that time, I mixed Bahasa Melayu and Bahasa Malaysia and Bahasa Indonesia. And I, I just, you know, I just talked like for solid two, three minutes, silent in the studio. Nobody say anything. I was waiting for the uh, question from the presenter. But suddenly I heard she said, uh, thank you, Nadia. That's all from la, 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 la. That's Nadia Mohsin from Kuala Lumpur, blah, blah, blah. And I, in my mind, I was like, wow, was I really that good? She don't have anything to ask. Was I, I mean, my report is that complete not after the, 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 the producer called me. And um, he told me that, Nadia, next time, can you please talk a bit slow and please don't mix Bahasa, Bahasa Malaysia and Indonesia. We don't understand you. We don't understand a word you said. That time I realized it's not just about, it's not just about the, 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 the work that I'm doing, but the, the, the language that I speak, that I use to deliver. And I have to adapt to that. And my mind was like, it's really difficult, you know, when you, once you go on live, live uh, you might plan something, but things, sometimes shit happen. And the words just, just doesn't come out from your mouth. Like you have everything here. I try to differentiate between sempadan dan perbatasan, for instance. It is between the two languages different. It's similar, but it's different. So I keep on saying sempadan, sempadan, sempadan. They, you know, uh, they stay close, the sempadan, sempadan, sempadan. While in Indonesian language, they say perbatasan, am I right? Perbatasan. And then they ask, what is sempadan actually? Is it, we, normally we use perbatasan, you know, like, okay, okay, okay. That, that is, yeah. Part of the thing that I've learned that I have to adapt, you know, to adapt yeah. those things. Did I did I just share it online? Uh, I mean, did I share the video? Yeah. No. Yes. Did you guys get it or see it somehow? Yeah, sure. And actually, spaden and perbatasan oh, is, is very different in Indonesian. <laughs> is it exactly right? Like, what am I talking? So, do you guys can see the video? Can you guys see the video? Uh, we we cannot see it yet. Oh, okay, can I just um, try it one more time? Sure. What? Is it right? Me? Mm, Share? Yes, please. No, no, no. Is this it? Okay, how do, we, how do we... Can you see the video? Um, stop video, meaning that I stop this one, right? Hmm? No, this one, this video. Yeah, you are screen sharing, is it? Ah. Okay, can you see it? No? Is there any videos on screen? Um, yes. 
Okay, can you see me? Oh, no, no, no. We, we cannot see the video, but we can see your screen. I, can you I see my screen? I can see your screen. It, it shows the, what is it? The file. Like this, my hand, like that? Not the video itself. Not the video. Oh, not the video, uh, because I freeze it. But can, can you see the, the pictures of it? Yeah, yes. Okay, so I, so this is me doing, uh, trying to adapt to do live crossover by myself. Hold on. I believe every journalist nowadays are doing this. I like We call it Mojo, Mobile Journalist. Yes, PJ, video journalist. Yeah, okay, hold on. Okay, when you, okay, you see those people at the back with the camera crew and stuff like that, that is when you in a big company, um, you are a permanent staff, you are working as a team. This one was when Anwar Ibrahim was about to announce his uh, victory in the last election. So if you come in a group, a, a big assignment like this, you will come in a group. When you come in a group, you are, you know, like depending on each other, you know, I got your back, man. It's okay. I will take care of the light. It's okay. I will take care of your audio. It's okay. I will take care of the, of the visuals and everything. You just memorize your line. You just, you know, deliver whatever that you want to say. But when you're alone, you are like this. You're like this. You have to hold and you have to show around like la, 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 la. adaptive. What should we do? Adaptive. This is the, the way that I choose. So being adaptive. So hold on. Stop share. Is this stop share? Okay. And hold on. So I believe each one of us have that ability, you know, when you are in a situation of hardship you got no choice but be adaptive right so what did i learn during uh my years of being in a journalism industry is because of the nature of the job um different environment different situation for each assignment so we do what we got to do like what rama told me just have what happened to him just before we go live he planned other thing other things happen so he make do on whatever that he's, he see in front of his eyes. Like that, right, Rama? Exactly. <laughs> yes. And oh my God, my daughter. And adaptive skill during pandemic. Say during the lockdown, employment rate soar, the uncertainties, we all been in the lockdown for months without knowing what would happen. What would happen when, when are they going to open the perbatasan, you know? When, 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 the, the question that when, 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 when. Some of us might give up, you know? Uh, some might take, take their own life. Uh, things happen. I mean, there's cases saying that people are being depressed and stuff like that. So you have to be adaptive somehow. It's easy to say than done. But I believe it will take years for us to actually master the skills. And journalism really, really uh, taught me and shaped me to be adaptive to, to, to all sort of thing. And one thing that I learned is living abroad. You know, I, um, I'm, I'm a daddy's girl. You know, I never separate from my parents. I was, I'm really close with my dad. Never separate from my parents. I've been in a long distance marriage for seven years. Then, as then after COVID and everything, we decided, okay, I think we should like stay together <laughs> in one place. <laughs> after seven years, yeah. And COVID happened. And then, oh, okay, now I can think. After COVID happened, lockdown and everything, now I can use my brain. Okay, I move to Jakarta. That's another new thing happened to me. Like I never leave my hometown. I was born, I was born and raised in KL. Uh, my husband is Indonesian. Uh, he's been staying in Jakarta. Mm, he's from Aceh, but he's working here in Jakarta. Uh, and yeah, after seven years, my, 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 my daughter has grown up and we decided, yeah, she's about to start school, take, take car, kindergarten. So, okay, let's just move without thinking. Again, me doing impulsive decision. No, I just move, I move. And then when I first came here I did not expect anything I was like it's okay I can do this being a, a full-time mother full-time housewife I guess and you know etc etc but after a few weeks I started to <laughs> maybe uh, maybe I should find something to do 
you know, uh, I miss my hometown. I, actually, my kids, uh, my uh, Linda is adapting really well compared to me. You know, maybe she's a child. At first, it was difficult for her because uh, back in KL, we, uh, she, I, I speak Malay. She speak English with, um, you know, her circle, her friends, uh, family members. But I, I, I speak Malay. So, but it's hard for her to communicate with me, even though uh, some of us like trying to speak Malay to her is it, hard. Maybe because of the, the media that she consume and everything is, you know, all the YouTube yang, apa, uh, the, 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 the programs all in English. So when she first came here, it's kind of hard. She tend to be friend with her teacher, menempel with the teacher, only with the teacher, and some of her friends that speak English. But... After a few, I think for the first two months, she's been struggling. But because kids, it's kids, they are adapting very well. And sometimes she is the one who, uh, you know, encourage me and calm me down. Like, Bunda, it's okay, Bunda. It's just, you know, in a matter of time, everything will be okay. You know, stuff like that. So she's adapting well at her school. While me, on the other hand, um, it's kind of hard a bit. But uh, after quite some time, uh, I made friends, including Anissa, who introduced me to Bridzone. Uh, Anissa is my uh, daughter's uh, apa, uh, teachers, dancing teacher, which she loved. She loved Anissa. So Anissa taught her very well about saying, Anissa, like, go extra mile, like, speak English and teach her in English just to make sure she's just enjoyed the dance, the traditional dance you know, which I really appreciate it. And after quite some time, she's enjoying the time here. And I'm happy with that. And I'm content. And, and then I joined, uh, I mean, I made friends, circle. I do have friends from Metro and whatnot, but they live like far from my place, like very far. It's hard for us to like have a, a daily coffee and whatnot. So when... Uh, so after two months living in here, I got, I got you know, uh, freelancing jobs and things that happen without, there's nothing in my plan actually. Like when I have this uh, offer to do some media consultant, NPR, it's all media related, but the job just happened to be a palm in my face and a new challenge, which I don't know. Like I'm not, uh, you know, very familiar with the media consultant and PR thingy job. So, but I just do what, what, I've, what I have to do. We need money, we need income, we need food to put on our table. So, okay, fine, I do that job. I was so nervous doing that job, but I do it anyway. And then come along all those other things, like I got offered as a uh, uh, news correspondent for TV3, which I'm doing now. So I have to adapt to the situation where when I go for assignment, not all assignment that I covered in Jakarta, particularly in, in, uh, in Indonesia, particularly in Jakarta, is you know the interest of Malaysian public. So I have to adapt to the story as well. Just like the same thing what happened when I covered for Metro. Not all the story from Malaysia is the interest and you know at if is the interest of Indonesian audience. So adaptive. Along the way, I just have to be adaptive. So I will share uh, some of the. Uh, okay, you see the the video, and this is how we work. If in in if we work alone, this is how you we work lah. Like this, you know that. Like basically, I just use my phone. That is said. The phone. Just use the phone and the tripod, and you're good to go. And don't forget to bring along your brain. <laughs> And 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 then and, and master the language as well, you know, because that can be a big misunderstanding. Like I was asking other thing, and he's understand me other thing, or or I'm 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 delivering other thing, and the people in the studio like, what is she talking about? And mastering the language. Yeah, so here is how we work. Uh, me. When I said, see, I'm the kitchen crew. I used to be in the kitchen, so. How do we adapt from, you know, holding the knife and the spatula and the whisk to holding camera and, you know, being in the back of the kitchen and being in front of the TV is totally different things. So this is how behind the scene. 
And this one is the, the first gig that I got in Jakarta. Um, like handling the uh, event for Malaysian company, uh, collaboration with um, Indonesian organization and with the presence of uh, the minister Sandiaga Uno. And during that time, there's no media, uh, no other media in Jakarta that can cover this event because the minister from Malaysia is come, uh, were in Jakarta at that time. So what I did as a media consultant, I jump in and be the journalist. I mean, you do what you got to do. And I, from all this material, I just uh, distribute all the material that I got. I interview the minister, I interview the, the shareholders and whatnot. I give them the press release and blast the material so that they can use in their media outlet. So adaptive, because my initial plan was really <laughs> like, go to the event, uh, just, you know, uh, do the PR work with the minister and stuff like that. But unfortunately, though, there's no other media turn out. So I have to be the media and do the assignment. This is me in the early years. Look at that. Who is that? What is the fashion do? Anyway. Granadia, uh, pardon me, can you click on the picture, please? So that we can see it uh, okay, wait, closer. Oh, click on the pictures. Full screen, is it? Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't, I'm not really okay, sure. Hold on. Okay, but I don't, it's not the picture that I'm proud of. <laughs> 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 it looks yikes. So, uh, hold on. What am I? We cannot see uh, what picture are you talking about. Oh, okay. Hold on. I started to share it again. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, can you guys see it? Yeah. Uh, I see your mouse is moving. Oh, this one? <laughs> you see this? <laughs> yeah, you want to so, see okay. it. You didn't see it? Okay, um, anyway. But did you see this? Can you see this? No, we are only seeing the folder. Oh, really? Oh, so, okay. Somebody said um, to... How can we... Oh, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Any second? <laughs> oh. oh, sorry. Hold on. Can you see? Yeah. No. Yes. No. No. Uh, not okay. Yet, it's okay. Okay. It's okay then. Okay. It's okay then. Hold on. You're right. Okay. It's okay. Being adaptive, you're so I mean, you're, you're a great storyteller. We we can we can imagine uh what you're talking about anyway. Use your brain, your imagination. Come on, guys. Okay, so I think that's about it. Uh, just a brief on that. So if you guys have any question, and, and maybe some of you might have anything that you guys want to share from your own experience, and, you know, like how do you handle with the hardship and, you know, something that out of your comfort zone, please share because I am still learning as well. You know, being a newbie in Jakarta. Any tips, you guys? Jackson. Thank you, Kanadia. Is that all? Okay, please uh, give a round of applause for Kanadia. Um, a round of virtual applause for Kanadia. It has been a great time to listen to your um, story about how do you adapt from working here to working here, different cultures, different roles and everything. Uh, and guys, we are going to give um, a few members the chance to ask uh, some question, but I just wanna quickly uh, ask uh, Nadia, uh, Ka, how do you deal with the feeling of uncomfortness when you are adapting, you know? It is never easy to adapt, right? It's very uncomfortable, but how do you deal with this? How do you make it easier? To be honest, it never, yeah, it, it could never be easy. First, I think that's why uh, the tips that I gave just now that I've been doing, like 
just make peace with it. It it it's very uncomfortable, you know. Um, I, in the other hand, I was how can I say it? like I'm not good in ex accepting changes, you know. I'm not good. I'm bad at it. Like sometimes I will feel like angry and why the why the why the why thing, but. I think it would be nice if you can just make peace with it. To how to make peace with it is is really really hard. Um, but once you know how to to make peace with it, things will come your way somehow. Um, the younger version of Nadia will definitely um, just. I will run. <laughs> I will not deal with it. Like I will no. I don't want. I don't want. I hate confrontation. I hate public speaking, you know, the younger version of me. So more or less like changes. I don't like changes. Hence, that is why I've been in a long distance marriage for seven years. I hate changes. <laughs> so, so, but what I learned is you never know if you don't, if you don't like blend yourself in the, un, you know, in the situation that is uncomfortable, you know, just feel the uncomfortableness too. Huh? Oh, <laughs> you, you feel God. it. Like, you just feel it. And then, yeah. okay. Then you, you make peace with it. That's my, you know, that's what I normally do. Not like normally do. Like, for the past few years. So younger version of me, I run. Hmm? Make peace with the uncom uncomfortness. Yeah, you, know? you don't have what to you gotta do. Just what, like what you say. Yeah, you Thank you. Does anybody have uh, Does anybody have a question for Kak Nadia? Because I've got a lot. I've got a lot ah, of questions. No, stop, stop. No uh, question. Well, okay. okay. Uh, uh, yeah. If everybody, if anybody has a question. Arama, uh, uh, was young, nice can, but he doesn't hey. just want to. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hi, Kak oh, Thank you. Hello. Hello. Hello there. Do you have any question? Uh, well, I do it's have one. Uh, as, as a journalist, as a journalist, uh, do you, uh, have you ever uh, got any pressures during the, the news release from, let's say, like political parties or something during in Malaysia? Thank God you asked me when I move. <laughs> when I wrote already here, yeah, wow. yeah. The short answer is yes. And thank God I'm here and I can say it. You really on do? Screen, on screen record this. But yeah, um, because it's like uh, I've... I spent two years in uh, online media uh, owned by the opposition at that time, the Anwar Ibrahim gang. <laughs> Um, I, we've been, yeah, we're facing pressure from the government, of course. And when I joined the mainstream, the, another company, the bigger one, the bigger one, uh, for 10 years, we do have uh, some sort of, we can say, like, uh, why you? <laughs> hey, Rama, you don't laugh, eh? You also got why you, eh? What, what is, what is why you? Uh, is it like ilham? Butan dewa gitu ya. <laughs> can we say like wahyu, uh, like uh, something that? How can I put into word? Um, like the universe tells the you company want us real. to um cover a certain story with a certain angle that they already set, you know, and this do's and don'ts. You can say this, you can't say that. But oh yeah, I know that. Since that they're paying us, we have to be adaptive. We follow that. <laughs> you but follow that for your safety. <laughs> I mean, I got like warning letter for a few times, and my story, my I mean, my judgment during yeah. my justification, eh? my judgment during that time, it was not a very controversial story or whatnot. I think I being natural, neutral, in terms of I get both sides to talk be the government or the opposition. But unfortunately, the editorial doesn't like it. They just drop the story without anything, explanation. Just, uh, we're not going to use this story because mm -mm, no, it's a big no. And they just drop the story. I mean, that's the, 
that's the thing that you have to accept when you are in the mainstream media owned by certain political parties and controlled by like that. But during my time, uh, but when I was in Metro, I was quite, um, it was quite lenient. You know, I can say whatever that I want to say <laughs> because I'm with Metro. <laughs> I was with Metro and they don't have restriction. Like what do I, whatever you want to say about your government, you say lah. <laughs> as long as it keep you safe. So I, I can it's not like criticizing, but I can be more neutral when I'm reporting for Metro because they will not, not interfere. The, because it's what happening in Malaysia. So why why should they interfere? So you report what you want to report, lah. So I just report. And then uh during my first two years uh with opposition media. I can report like, but it's a bit biased to the opposition as well, the, the Anwa gang at that time. So, adaptive guys. Di mana bumi dipijak? Okay. Uh, translate that. Then. Di mana bumi dipijak? For the question. Yeah. How about, uh, we, have, we have one more question from Gandhi, Kak Nadia Gandhi. Can you um, share your question, please? Uh, sure. Um, thank you, Kak Rama. So my question is uh, not really a big one actually. So it kind of linked with your uh, with your profession and the topic of today as well, I suppose. So can you describe uh, a time when you have to adapt quickly to an unexpected circumstances um, while doing your job? And how do you actually handle it? Give me some tips. How old are you, Gandhi? I have a question for you. How old are you, Gandhi? Well, uh, next one, I will turn 12. Gandhi, you're so adorable. And Every a very week, good question. Gandhi is being asked about how old is he. <laughs> but look, I'm already used to it, okay? I'm already used to it. <laughs> Hello, he used to that <laughs> fame, okay? To okay, Gandhi. the new uh, questions in Fifth Zone. Okay, okay go okay, on. Okay. What, what I'm going to answer Gandhi. Huh? Gandhi, I'm going to answer you. Oh my God, you're so cute. Okay, Gandhi. <laughs> Um, unexpected situation, yes. How do I handle it? I, I'm going to share a story, okay? Uh, when I was with Metro, uh, basically I'm doing everything alone, right? By myself, one, one woman show. So I was late. When you're in a big team, you have your own pilot who can drive you around. You, can, you have your own cameraman who will, do all the, who will do all the camera work. You don't have to think about anything. You just have to memorize your script. But when I'm uh, doing the freelance journalist, I have to do everything on my own, right? So as I was driving, I was late. I like really late, man. We are about like 10 minutes to go live. <laughs> and I was driving. I was trying to reach at the destination, at the, at the location as fast as I could. But no, uh, I don't think I'm going to make it. So uh, the, the, the studio has been calling me, you know, the, the, the Jakarta has been calling me. Where are you? We need to test. Uh, we need to check on the audio. We need to do this and that. I was like freaked out, man. Like, oh. and then uh, what should I do? What should I do? And then I told them, like, I suggest like, boss, I am so sorry. I don't think I can make it on time to that location. But I got my point. I got the story, everything in my mind, in my head. Can I just like do this live crossover by the roadside? Any anywhere can can anywhere do, and then the boss, the editor said, "Okay, Nadia, we are about to go live in three minutes. Get ready, everything in three minutes. Like everybody stand by, and the question is here, 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 and then you know, like, okay. I start my car, bring all the stuff, my my tripod, the skinny one, the skinny tripod. I set up the camera. I mean, I set set up my handphone like this." And then with like I'm out of breath at that time. I was really like out of breath. All I can say, like, okay, don't, 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 don't just say whatever you want. It's okay if it's in Bahasa Malaysia or Bahasa Indo. You just mix whatever, as long as you appear on TV. I don't care about my uh, my eyebrow. <laughs> I have a very terrible eyebrow. I don't care about my eyebrow at that time. I was like, okay, 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 boss. Uh, uh, I'm preparing here and that. I set up. The show must go on, Gandhi. You just have to talk. You just have to think quick. It's really terrifying, I told you. I was really scared. I couldn't make it on time. And then I will, you know, screw this up. But thank God the editorial team understood 
and they said it's okay night as long as you can see something like you know you're in KL okay uh fine malaysian flag <laughs> fine <Malaysian. laughs> good enough flag. right like okay uh okay okay okay, okay. malaysian flag blah, 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 blah. just in time like really just in time i don't know how oily my face look like I don't have time to put on anything, all the foundation, all the bada and whatnot. No, I was like, okay, pop. Terima <laughs> kasih. And then that's it. So think quick, Gandhi. You, you, you have to. I mean, when you in the in the situation, like in that situation, your brain will surprisingly will very fast. And with and huh, with you being like really brave to ask me question and stuff like that i don't think you will have a problem man dealing in any situation come on guys applause to gandhi dinda i mean thank you so much yeah actually all right um it, yeah. answers, it answers everything actually but um you know uh, everybody here says that it's pretty much just the power of a pepe everybody says that actually it's like yeah yeah, happens every time. Happens every the time. The power of the pepper. I'll, I'll, I'll okay, the pepper is like really like that, right? Like, yeah. we are like you're in time, a rush. Right? Like, you're something. In a rush? Okay, <laughs> the power of the pepper. Come, come, can you say hi to Gandhi? Can you say hi to Gandhi? Hi. She's really smart. Oh my God. This is Dinda. Hi, Dinda. Hi, hi Gandhi. Hi. This Hello, one is Gandhi. Dinda. He just asked Hello. me a question. Yeah, Gandhi. Hi. Gandhi, you have a fun. You have a fun. Yeah, you speak good English. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Ah. Ah. Okay, Hi. get out. Get out from the frame. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, Gandhi, for the question. Uh, do we have one more question? I think we have one more slot. Uh, yeah, if anybody. Anissa, I see you. Anissa, I see you. Yeah, I um, see you too. <laughs> Oh yeah, say hi to Ani, uh, Kak Anissa and a big, maybe a, a moment for Kak Anissa, please, for being such a good teacher, like what Kak Nadia said. <laughs> Dindi, your dance teacher is here, what? online, but niece. I can't hear you. But niece is here, online, huh? oh, but niece. What? But niece. Alice, where's? Where's? This one, this one, niece, can you do that pong there? So dead pong? Dead okay, pong. dead pong, dead pong. <laughs> okay. Do the dead pong thing. Dead pong. Dead pong? Okay. Dead pong. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay, dude? Okay. Uh, Kak Nadia and everyone, uh, we are going to move to uh, the FGD session. But before that, we are going to take the picture together uh, to... Okay. Um, what is it? She's my earring, okay? <laughs> Our uh, excitement for So please, everybody, uh, turn on your camera and give your best smile. Okay, I see everyone up. opening their, their camera. Hi. Hi, everyone. Um, Ferdian, Farhan, Romy, Riri, and Rizky, Nurnisa, everybody, please open up your camera, yeah? Okay, are we all ready? The picture uh, is... Uh, who is going to take the picture? The host, right? Okay. All right. Yeah. Thank you very much, Karama. Yeah. All right. Um, so, Britzenes, we're going to take um, pictures twice. So, give us your best pose, right? I will take I'm the pictures twice. Like, why then... the host not open the cam? <laughs> <laughs> okay. It doesn't matter now. All right, everyone. You can turn on your camera if you're able to do so. Oh. All right, I'm going to take the, the first pick. Three, two, oh, one. All right. Anissa, so cute. Okay, I'm going to take the second picture. So guys, keep, keep posing, okay? Three, two, one. All right. Yep. It's done. Thank you very much. Thank you, Kareza. 
And um, now we are going to go to the FGD session. I would like to remind everybody that the aim for uh, the FGD session is for everybody to practice their English uh, speaking skills. So please um, use the time uh, as, as uh, the best as you could, you know, just practice your English, go speak up. Okay, and I'll see you in a bit. Bye everyone. Okay, just a quick question, uh, Kak Nadia, from me, uh, as everybody is leaving the, um, what is it, the main room, we have a bunch of people who are watching us from YouTube. I just want to know about uh, how does uh, working as a journalist for many, many years and doing the adaptive uh, over and over again has helped you as a parent, you know? Because as a parent, everybody is changing um, every day, right? So how do you how do you use that to adapt? Because I think being a parent is uh, being a journalist is much much more 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 easier than <laughs> being a parent. And uh, I during uh, when I was in KL, uh, I did not spend much time with Tinder because I have. Uh, you know, I've been in and out and, you know, assignments after assignment. You know how, how life is as a journalist, right? So I have a pretty strong backup system back in KL. My support system, my family, my friends, uh, my siblings, uh, you know, they've been doing a great job uh, raising my daughter. <laughs> the, <laughs> the job that I... Okay, so a to. good, a good uh, backup system has helped you very much on yes, that thing here. We, we, we all, I think we all need uh, a, a good uh, support system. I mean, especially for uh, working moms, you know. Um, when, when I move here, I have to uh, learn to do everything by myself. Uh, I got no support system whatsoever. Hence, the, the reason why I, I have to, um, you know, do this freelancing job, which I can manage my own time. Uh, when because at this point, at this time, there's no one to take care of her. Obviously, I have to take care of her. And what I did was um, being adaptive because this child, she's like an assignment. You know, one day she's in a good mood, and tomorrow she's you know, and then you know, I have to treat her on on on. I'm not that expert, okay, in, in parenting. I'm Disclaimer, I'm not an expert in parenting because I just learned it myself for this past eight months, which I have to do it on my own. Uh, those, I read a lot about this positive parenting, but the Asian mom in me, like, cannot tahan. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the positive parenting, you cannot say this, you have to say that. Like, okay, I tried. And sometimes I might, there's like, mm, the, Asian, the Asian tiger just, you know, yeah. unleash itself from my... Tanadia, I uh, sorry, sorry to uh, cut For you myself. off. I, and, and, actually, um, we have. Oh, sorry, Tanadia, <laughs> I'm so sorry uh, because you actually we are. Uh, I really want to talk about you because I I've got a lot of question. <laughs> As a journalist, I have to prepare for a lot of question. But you can text hear. me. <laughs> We have to hear from our fellow bridge owners here. We have Kak Yasrin, who, are going to be, uh, who is going to be the facilitator for the main room. Hi, Kak Yasrin. Uh, Kanadia, you may uh, go take a break, uh, maybe get some coffee as we are going to hear from our fellow bridge owners and the FGD class in the main room. Take it away, so, Kak Yasrin. Okay. Okay, so the sum is for the FTD session uh, to, so I am as a facilitator here to lead the discussion, yeah guys. But before that, can you please turn on your camera so I can see your beautiful face, guys? <laughs> okay, we have a lot of people here. We have Don't worry, Amira. I'm here. I'm here. I don't need you, Karama. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> No, okay, just kidding. Everyone, please do uh, open your camera, Kak Dega. Yes. Also, Kak Dega, we have Kak Nui, also Kak Farhan, Kak Ferian as well. Okay, so because we are uh, in FGD session and we have limited time, maybe let's uh, have a quick uh, introduction first. Maybe I'll go first, yeah, guys. Uh, my name is Yasrin. I am 
here as facilitator to lead the discussion only. And I live in Bandung. That's all maybe. How about Kadwi? Could you please uh, give a bit introduction? A little introduction, sorry. Hello, Kaya Sinin. Hello, Hello semuanya. Um, okay, my name is Tui. So I live in Hedan. And, and this is my third class in Big Zone. And nice to, uh, it's like, and it's fun to hear the, the, yeah, some Wow, I know you. You join our class several times, Yaka, because your voice not so familiar. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Kak Dwi. So let's go next to Kafira. How about you, Kafira? Are you there? Hello, Kak. <laughs> Hello. Hello, my name is Fira. I am here as a member in the Trinity, maybe. I came from Cirebon. Thank you. Wow. Hello, Cirebon. So far away. Okay. So we have uh, Kak Ferdian. Yeah? You can uh, keep turning your camera, actually, Kafira, if you want, if you don't mind. <laughs> How about Kak Ferdian? <laughs> sure Hello, good. Right. Hello, good evening, everyone. Uh, I'm Ferdian, and I'm from Bandung. Uh, yeah, it's a great pleasure to see you guys. Thank you. Okay, so Kaferian joined uh, our class several times as well, yeah, Kak? Your I, voice absolutely. Was... <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you for joining our class, Kaferian. So, Kadega, would you mind to introduce yourself? Or are you just watching us there? <laughs> I'm just watching. I want to give the time to all of um, visitors here to come. And then welcome again, Kadwi. We actually have, like, uh, in the same room in previous class so thank you so much for coming back Kadui and everyone here Kaya Srian please continue okay so guys uh, seen we talk about adaptive uh, skills yeah I think as a human everyone has the edit adaptive skills yeah so I will um, wait a second I will uh, read the question for you so for the first question is can you explain with your own words the definition of adaptive living? So that for the first question. Maybe you want to explain, Kak Dwi or Kak Pira, we talk about the definition of uh, adaptive living by your own definition. Or you need, you need to take your time. I will give you three seconds. <laughs> Is that enough? <laughs> How about uh, to Ka Ferdian first? Because you turn off your camera. So I was curious about your answer. Uh, I beg your pardon. What was the question? It's about the definition of uh, adaptive living. Adaptive. Well, well, I have no idea about it. Um, adaptive living. I think it's about um, getting used to. Uh, you know, new circumstances and environment that you're living in, particularly when uh, you come across uh, different, uh, you know, cultural understandings, yeah. and and it's about um, giving, um, you know, tolerance and respect for differences. And sometimes, you know, you have to to be blended with uh, the current situation uh, that that you're jumping in. So I think, yeah, it is about try to. Uh, camouflage your weakness and 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 instead like showing your respect and your capabilities of um, you know uh, getting adapted with people uh, around you. Yeah, probably like something like that. Wow, thank you, Kak Ferdian. I got... So that's from Kak Ferdian, yeah, guys, about the definition of adaptive living. How about from Kak Fira? I want to ans I want to hear from your answer. What do you think? Um, adaptive, yes. Maybe for me, adaptive means... Oh, sorry. Sorry, really your voice. To... Oh, 
Ada Adaptive mean relate to enthusiasm and ability to respond, be creative, and be proactive in dealing with change, maybe, in our life. That can be found in a person. The following are examples of help, skills such as feeding yourself and cleaning yourself, cleaning your house or bed, I think. Maybe just you. Thank you, Kak. Hello? Okay. Thank you, Kak Fira. So I will go for the next person. Is Kak Dwi. What about you, Kak? Thank you, Kak Asrin. I think the adaptive is the situation when you have to maintain the, the bad situation to your behavior, maybe, and how to, to overcome the solution of it. Mm -hmm. Yes, just, just that. Oh, that's all? Okay, so yeah, since you are guys answer the question, I think uh, we agree that we have adaptive skills yeah, for everyone, uh, for human being, because I think adaptive skill is one of our, what is it, ciri-ciri makhluk hidup ya? It's not about the physically or, uh, I mean, it's naturally we can do it, even though we need to, well, we have a struggle for adaptive living, but we can do it. I think that's all. So maybe uh, we have, oh, Kak Rama, our conductor, and also Brit Zoners, and also Kak Nuya. So for the next question, yeah, I will ask you for the next question is, are there, are, are there any change that influence your daily life in the midst of rapid technology growth? So we talk about the technology, how you adapt with that technology growth. Do you have any answer already? You get the point, right? Still thinking about it. Yes, Kadega, you want to say something? <laughs> yeah, maybe I mean as for waiting, all of you guys also thinking about the answer itself. So I would say for me to adapt with kind of technology for now, I would I would I will not gonna lie, it's so hard for me to adapt with the really fast innovation mm -hmm. of technology, such as AI. I just yeah, I just knew about AI. Uh, and I just 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 check GPT. I don't even knew, I don't even use another things like AI illustration or another things because I don't know. I have like no interesting more in that kind of things. And also, I mean like uh, you guys maybe know that Instagram has threads application now. It's not the same like Twitter, you know. But I don't have yeah. any interest. Uh, I don't have any interest. Uh, thing to 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 I mean like to to install it on my phone i don't know why i mean like maybe because of i mean like no i'm growing all that i'm so really i'm really so uh really? hard to yeah to keep with kind of because really, you're old. <laughs> yeah because i am so old i couldn't agree more with you knowing so i'm just like really exhausted but maybe it maybe some someday i will I will try to adapt with all of it. But for now, I'm mean, like, yeah, just adapt it, like my, take my baby step to adapt with all of those innovative technologies. Yeah, wow, that's right. I agree that our technology, I mean, grow so fast, so I cannot adapt it with all of them. Like I just uh, use Instagram, TikTok, that's all. So for threads, Twitter, I don't, I don't really use it, so I don't really understand about it as well. So, what what about you, Kadwi? What do you think about technology growth, and you have to be adaptive with that? Do you have any struggle, maybe? Um, I think I'm struggling with social media because I just use Instagram, <laughs> but but I use a little. But some application help me a lot, like, uh, like digital sketching help me, or uh, some software help me a lot to into my work. 
So I think to is there any to influence with the technology is is a good thing, but not but for me not for the social media. Okay. Is that anything else? Yeah, yeah, just just like that. That's okay. As long as social media helps us to uh how to say to help our work, I think that's good enough. We cannot uh join the trend or uh download all application just just because of FOMO, fear of missing out, right? <laughs> Yeah, but in education that have lots to <laughs> like like this big zone. I found this in the Instagram and it's helped me a lot. Yeah, oh my god, thank you for Instagram. Thank you, Kak Dwi. <laughs> so I wanna hear from Kafira. How about you, Kafira? Um, I think is there any chance how to make it? It's easier for us to, to do everything and bring those who are far away closer. And thanks to communication, it's also able to increase knowledge. We can also get excited with anyone around the world without any of um, <laughs> Uh, it's okay if you want to mix with Indonesian language too, Kak. Maksudnya, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> apa ya, yang jauh jadi dekat gitu loh. Maksudnya gimana ya ngomongnya? <laughs> Means of uh, communication such as uh, video call like that, maybe. Mm -hmm. That's it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Even though I, I, I have no brother in Saudi Arabia but I agree that we can uh, connect with people out there right good job a good job thank you Kavira for the answer <laughs> sounds like a teacher good job uh, student no <laughs> okay so now I want to hear from Kak Ferdian how about you Kak Ferdian um, well I anticipate uh, is about my, you know maintaining your mental health issues you know, uh, I think in today's uh, climate in particular, people have been struggled, um, you know, dealing with, um, you know, uh, the, the extensive uh, transformation of technology that affect people in a way they perceive the situation, assuming things, um, you know, deciding, uh, you know, about, about their bias and also being uh, influenced by, uh, you know, misinformation, disinformation, uncertain uh, news then that, that you just, you know, that you just read by the click and for me personally like uh, if I receive so much information simultaneously it really weakens me it really makes me tired and it really influences uh, my mental health mental health so I decided like okay you have to, to be stepping away from from the social media or maybe the the you know um, massive uh, you know transformation of the news so you know for for a moment and 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 sometimes what we have read from the news uh, are not um, really as uh, as what it looks like uh, you know in the reality and 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 also uh, in terms of like instagram and twitter and people have been um, you know uh, promoting uh, pro uh, you know promoting sp uh, you know spreading propaganda and and all of the stuff that that really confuse you about hey what's going on in, you know uh, you know about you know in this world like so yeah i think i think it mostly is about maintaining your mental health issues because the the type of the communications have changed so rapidly going back to maybe 10 years or maybe 15 years ago everything was very um, you know like clear and, and and really intentionally um, you know into um, a very natural communication when we meet people uh, directly but right now we have so much types and people would rather uh, you know to isolate themselves by you know being busy with their mobile phones and getting uh, socialized with the people online so yeah i think that that may be one of the you know problems that that we should be tackled you know immediately hi 
Yeah, more, couldn't right? agree more with that. Kaya Sri, I mean, the less you know, the less you worry. So you need to filter all the information that you got. Yeah, couldn't agree more. With that. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, yeah. We we spend a lot of time on our phone, Australia, Kak, like daily um, scrolling down <laughs> Instagram uh, yeah. like twenty four hours in a day. Social media, it's toxic, I, you know. And yeah. you know what? I don't I don't really understand. It's not really a physical act. Activities, you know, it's not really a, a very hard physical activity. You just keep scrolling, but it really makes you tired. It really makes you confused. I don't know why the effects of of that kind of, you know, a screening, filtering, and and choosing the things that you really like to read. And yeah, I don't know. It's it's, it's really like, oh my goodness, it's quite dangerous if you if you cannot manage uh, your your time management and yourself, you know, into the into the technology. <laughs> it I can drain our that. energy so much. Yeah, I couldn't agree more yeah. with you. And sometimes maybe, it maybe makes because in uh sure. Go ahead, guys. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what do you want to say, Kano? It's okay. Yeah, I mean like uh as my experience, social media like make me what is that insecure and then like, oh my god, what should I do? Because of a lot of comment or negative comment about yeah. The, yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's uh, Kak Dega told us that we got so many information about people's life that we don't we don't really need it, right? So we uh comparing ourselves to the others. So and uh, one thing that I uh noticed from Kak Ferdian is why uh, scrolling down social media makes us uh feel tired. Maybe just because we not you know we not move our body. <laughs> we keep uh. <laughs> lay on my bed on on the bed on my bed oh my god so you know guys i'm scrolling down so much on the bed and also we we cannot uh, we don't go to any place so that's why our uh, how, how this how to say pegel, pegel, yeah? so it's tired by mental <laughs> by physically that's right everyone thank you so much for and also makes us uh, a bit hard to sleep insomnia yeah right because we spend a lot of time on screen. Is that true, guys? Do you have any struggle to sleep? Right. Yes, it's really true. <laughs> so, so stop it. Stop it scrolling down social media. Unless so, you just comment on online. Stop it. Right? Yeah, I'm overthinking. <laughs> so media, it's like hard for day. me to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> no, wait a second. Oh my god, I'm laughing. Okay, so guys, we have limited time. We only have three minutes left. So for the last question, I curious about maybe you can uh, give a uh, a bit explanation from your uh, living behavior. I mean, adaptive living behavior that you have done in your life to adapt with your daily situation, your experience. Maybe. In a short story, maybe you want to share to us adaptive living behavior that you have done. Maybe during uh, the pandemic, or you are a student and suddenly you got as employee or something like that. I do believe Kadui have something to share because he is a C is working now in the field that dominated by men. So you should, yeah, give us about your adaptive living and your work environment, Kadui. My okay, thank you, Kadega, for your. Uh, for me, I've been, I used to work as an uh, architect in the Medan City, and now I'm working in the airport as the leader of the technician in uh, airport maintenance. And it taught me a lot to, to, uh, to being adaptive with the uh, men, the bunch of men. So, so, so what the so the hard hard part is how you to to negotiate with the with your coworkers and and to order them to doing something. You're really struggling with that. How do you deal with that? Are you alright now? <laughs> 
ya yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah you need it need it needs it needs time to to deal with that yeah. at, at first one i came with at first one i came with my what how to say that um I'm uh, kaku, saya sangat kaku to to negotiate with them, and now uh, I can, and now I talk talk with them with the with the low emotional, and yeah, it's it's going it's going going good, it's going well. Wow. Good job, Kak Dwi. Thank you for your answer and your short story. I believe that actually we can uh, face our obstacle in life because we, uh, I don't know how to sp- say in English, but kita tercipta untuk bisa menghadapi. <laughs> that's the point. I don't know how to say it in English. So sorry, guys. But yeah, I think that's all for the FGD session. We got so many guys, so many people come back to our FGD uh, our main room. Maybe thank you very much. Uh, one more time for Kak Dwi and also Kak Fira and also Kak Fira So I will give the screen to Kak. Thank you so much, Kayasin. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the main room. Um, we are still. Uh, we still have a uh, few people in the uh, what is the in the breakout room because I see that only 20, uh, 20 something people are on the main room. But are you guys having fun? Did you guys have fun in the uh, breakout room? We oh, had so much about. fun, but we, we still have need a lot. time. Everybody is having fun. More time, Kat. Uh, a lot. Uh, got to uh-huh. more time. You to no, we need more time. <laughs> we need more time. Actually, I agree with that. Okay, because I, I am an advocate for uh, we need more time. I will give you uh, a twenty hours more okay. to do everything. <laughs> twenty hours. Twenty Until hours. midnight, I guess. Okay. Um, hi everyone. Okay, we have uh, forty people, so I think everybody is here. Um, and now we are going to move forward to the representative session. I would like to ask only two groups for tonight, maybe from Ka Anisa's group. Who is going to be the uh, representative? Oh, for me, tonight? yeah. Yes. Anisa, Anisa, me. Okay, thank you so much, Rama. Rama. Um, so I had such a great discussions about the um, topics today at the FGD session. So we've got Kak Nurul, Kak Romi, which is Kak Romi is on the side where um, he's, he's, been, he's been wearing the army uniform things, but he got the spirit to join the FGD session and then joining for Nadia's uh, topic. And it's such an inspirative uh, class. So thank you for bringing that topic uh, for Thursday class. So you're doing great. And then my team at the FGD session are doing great too. Uh, we got Tanur Nisa, uh, Kasuria, as well as um, Kak Nurul. Yeah. So maybe we can have Kak Nurul to be the representative of the FGD session. Chris Kak Nurul. Okay, Kak Nurul. Hi, everyone. Hello. Yeah, in the FGD session, we talk about uh, the definition of adaptability. And my opinion is that uh, adaptability is when you have to uh, agree with the with the conductor said in the discussion that adaptability is when you uh, are able to think quickly and think uh, and be responsive and to be able to take the decision uh, fast. But uh, I guess to reach that level, to reach that, to reach the level of think quickly, yeah, every day we have to practice a lot. We have to learn a lot about everything to upgrade your skills, to broad your knowledge. And by broadening your knowledge, I think we have, uh, I think we can gain the confidence. And by the confidence, we can uh, we can take the decision uh, so fast. 
And then uh, I, I also have the experience to adapt quickly uh, when I lost my job uh, during the pandemic. So yeah, I was a programmer and I, I lost my job and I have to reapply to the new uh, occupation to change my uh, programming language. So yeah, I make it until now. <laughs> Wow, that's a great story, Kanurul. Thank yeah. you so much. For, so uh, the, the key takeaway that you can uh, say is to think quickly to make a good decision, yeah? Yeah. Kanurul. Thank you so much for sharing your story. And okay, thank you, Karanita, thank you. for doing such a good job as a vessel. How about, uh, let's move on to Kak Dela. Yes. Hi, you girl you in so black and white. You're very... <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So, yeah, we have... Uh, I, I have, like... Um, was some discussion there. Yeah, we talk about like um, uh, difficult moments in our life and how we handle it and what the lesson learned uh, we got. So, and we have a first timer uh, in our group. Uh, there is Kak Cornell. Hi, Kak Cornell. Yeah. Hi, Kak Cornell. Hi. So maybe you can uh share um. Uh, our group discussion, maybe the summarize or maybe your story, if you don't remember all. Yeah, just your story is enough. Can you yeah. open up your cam camera, please, Kak Cornell? Yeah. Okay, okay, wait a minute. I'm sorry. <laughs> Actually, I, I chat Kak Adela. I said that I don't want to. <laughs> Maybe she doesn't really. Know, actually, just chat this me. is your time to oh, <laughs> because sorry, we sorry. give like uh. <laughs> Okay, so earlier we discussed um, what is what is what what's the question again? We discussed about that I like uh, dif yeah about difficult that thing. moments. Yeah, maybe it's different from the small group earlier. I remember it now that I'm actually my love language is actually physical touch and quality time. So this um, during COVID, it's really difficult for me because I have this one community that weekly, once a week, I need to meet them personal. So after pandemic, we just do it online. It's really um, a big deal for me. But, but now I, I'm getting used to it. I, I, I accept that um, everything changed. Technology even changed uh, and I think I begin to adapt with that, and that's okay. That's all, uh, Cornell? Yeah. Sorry. Okay, thank you so much for sharing your story. The pandemic has uh, changed our life big time indeed, see. Uh, I can oh, also... I, yeah, I think so, something that we can take... Um, I think there is something like um, we can minimize our expenses like we used to meet like every week but now we can minimize it which is good and we we can how do, do i say that use our time more we don't have to go to um far places just do it in our home yes more time efficient but you gotta move the expense to the internet quota yeah right <laughs> I don't even hear this in my group, but thank you so much for sharing this, Cornell. Thank you so much, Cornell. Okay. Thank you for the change, trauma. Back to you. Yes, I hope that everybody uh, who is the first timer, just like uh, Cornell, is having a great time. Um, so that's all of the representative. I hope that uh, all of you once again have a great uh, time uh, in our uh, breakout room as well as in the main room before when we are talking with. Kak Nadia, our conductor. So before I'm going to close the uh, entire class, I would like to Kak Nadia to give your uh, closing statement perhaps. Well, um, yeah, it's a great point that you guys have been discussing in the, in the other room, the separate room. So I just, um, yeah, like what uh, Yasin said that each one of us, are pretty much built to you know to face such changes and challenges and i think it's the art of how we be resilient uh, in uh, for changes you know any changes in 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 our life so make peace 
whatever happened like ahead, awaiting ahead of us, challenges, just make peace with it. And then only you can assess the situation and plan for the outcome. If not in a, in a pepet moment, <laughs> you can plan and, um, you know, and, and with all your effort, let, let, after all those, let go and let God. That's all. Wow, that's a very strong uh, closing statement. I like how you start with, we are built to be adaptive, you know, yeah. uh, because we are. And uh, if you don't, if you think that you cannot be adaptive, you just have to go and do it. Just do it. And because life carries on. Thank you so much, Kanadia, for uh, showing up to our class tonight. It has been a pleasure to listen to your stories and having you tonight. Thank you so much for having me, guys. <laughs> Have a great day tomorrow and the day after and the day after and the day after. <laughs> yeah. We're not on the weekend yet. We still have more um, working day yeah. for words. Thank you, Kanadia, and thank you, everyone, who has um, joined our class tonight at Zoom. Uh, and also to everybody who is watching us uh, on YouTube, thank you so much for uh, keep tuning in on until the end of the session. I hope that everybody is doing a great time. So um, I'm just going to uh, close the class and say good night to you all. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Thank you, Karama. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye. 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 Don't forget to come to the online class. You are on Saturday class. See you on Saturday class and the class, 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 class. Yeah, I suppose. Wouldn't say that out of the way. Hello, Gandhi. Hi, Yanni. Thank you. Thank you for coming. The Thursday oh, bye, on a bye, Sira. Kasuria, oh, I, I think Kasuria could be. All right. Bye-bye. Right. Uh, uh, Hi, Yanni. How are you today? Bye-bye, you too. Bye, Kasuria. 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 Bye